In this video, we're going to talk about something called ladder attacks and spoofing. So stick around. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me again. It's uh, Ready for 401k or Money Viking Bob from moneyvikings.com. Um, so I wanted to briefly touch on something that many people aren't aware of, especially retail investors. Um, it's something called ladder attacks. And then also we're gonna do a little bonus thing on, uh, on something called spoofing. So uh, the reason why I bring this up is there there is a, uh, a ticker that I spoke on recently. It was uh, CEI, Camber Energy. Um, they're uh, stuff around carbon capture, technology, uh, clean energy, but also it, it is an energy play. I guess the name tells it, right? Um, price just plummeted. So uh, you can see actually today, we're still still live today. Um, it, it's down 50%. Uh, I think at times it's close to 60%. And it, the, the, it just kept happening. From a technical perspective, it shouldn't have happened. Didn't make sense. Didn't make, nothing made sense why this was happening. It broke through all sorts of resistance and, and technical formations to just go. So what we're looking at here is the one second chart, okay? This is how you identify um, a couple of things, spoofing and actual ladder attacks. So price dropped, you measure this out, in a matter of one second, it had dropped 11%, went down a total of 15.5%, to come back up to 11%, okay? Followed by the very next, actually a few seconds, we had a drop of 11% to recover back up to 10.5% drop, and so on. We can see this continued for the next few seconds after that, okay? So this is what I wanna show you. This is what a ladder attack is, um, and it, it, they're actually illegal if, if caught, okay? So what happens is, um, you know, short interest will want to find an entry point. It could be that they're aware of some good news that's coming down the pipeline. It could be that, um, you know, there's some big PR event, something's gonna happen, uh, or they just know that this is going to be a great investment or stock to get in. So they will intentionally drive price down of the stock by borrowing shares. And that's a whole other video, <laughs> but they will borrow shares from a broker and they will sell them in the market at a lower price. And uh, they will intentionally push price down to find their entry point that they want to buy in. And then they'll buy in and as price goes up, at the end of the year, they will pay that broker a fee, which is a percentage of the profits that they made. All right. So there's there is interest from the brokers as well as the shorts as well, you know, in, in these cases. So how they do this through a ladder attack is this is the example of CEI. So I I've, I've populated these these numbers here. These are just random. Okay, I'm just this is just for example, right? Just just for what we're looking at here. They they do something called spoofing first of all, which is they they create these barricades in price, and what this does is it scares buyers from trying to get in at these points. It it kind of um, it, it it's to intimidate, right? To to say okay. Price isn't going to go anywhere. Then also additionally, it makes people who are invested that are looking at the, these sorts of things, this is level two data, that something's going on. So I, I want to take my profits, so I, I want to sell below this person here because I want to get out. Now, this is just first first part of it. Spoofing really is kind of the first part. But 
then what happens is the, the short borrowers, the short interest, the bears, you refer to them, they will actually fill an order, uh, some odd pennies, dollars, you know, whatever it is, they will fill an order some odd, you know, length down. Um, when they fill this order, what happens is that everything behind this order will now collapse and fill at this lowest price because that's the, the best price that the, the brokers and, and the markets could sell it to them for, okay? This causes a cascading effect because then everyone who had a stop loss in place, those orders would now start filling at the best price possible, okay? What happens is the shorts will intentionally put in buy orders in large bulk down the line so it prevents the, the price from completely just bottom, just bottom gets pulled out and there's just no end in sight, okay? But also what they wanna do is they, they don't want it to get halted because anytime it gets halted is an opportunity for their kind of tactic to get ruined. Um, so they have to be quick to the orders. Uh, and this is also something where if it goes too fast, you know, too much too fast, they get put on the, um, uh, the SSR list um, so it's for short selling and, and it means that the next day they can only short the stock if the, the price is on an uptrend. Okay. So this is all illegal. So if, if a brokerage is caught doing this, which I, I don't know how often they get caught doing it, but if they get caught doing it, there's, there's heavy penalties and, and fines involved. Right. Um, but even the spoofing side of it is illegal. This is actually what led to one of the largest market crashes was somebody over in the UK left a large order um, in the SPY. And that order got filled after hours and caused a collapse in the SPY, okay? So anyways, I, just quick explanation. I just want you guys to understand what a ladder attack is and how it's used, and also what spoofing is. Um, but this is what happened to CEI as well. So, so people who are invested in CEI, and we can take a step back here and look at the bigger picture, because looking at this from a technical perspective, um, it, was, it was performing beautifully to continue upwards trend, um, very bullish. You know, the selling was a consolidation period because you can see the selling was tapering below the average volume. So uh, the, I should say the volume that was occurring, which is mostly sell volume is below the average. So this would be a period where we would be like, okay, this is normal. Cause we can see this happen every time it consolidates, the volume goes down when it's red volume. Um, this is abnormal. And this is why it brings attention because this amount of volume and the price has dropped 52% to a point where it's actually halted right now. It has been trade halted. Um, you know, it went even lower. It went much lower. So uh, this is going to cause some problems for some brokers and, and even some retail uh, shorts that uh, don't know what they're doing that wanted to take a, take a, uh, a jab at it are going to actually get in trouble for this. Um, but anyways, keep an eye on it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe notification bell. We got stuff coming out all the time. So check us out, moneyvikings.com. Great way to learn different ideas for health and, and wellness and even stuff with credit cards, credit scores, real estate, um, the whole nine. Anyways, uh, we'll check you on the next one.